second we got in the water, I spotted a huge barracuda. So before we got to really say hi to the camera, I rushed over to it. You can see it at the bottom of the screen. But I missed. So Mark and I kept diving through these bait balls. Uh, these fish are what the barracuda loves. So if you find those, they're all around. This is where I shot my second fish. This is a calico. Right after you shoot a fish, you want to throw it on your stringer first thing so it doesn't end up getting away. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm taking this little belt stringer I have off. Oh, this is great. We saw a little bat ray while we were underwater. So here's Mark shooting his fish that got me motivated to want to get a bigger one. Good size though. This is where I see the barracudas and they come up from underneath them so they don't see me. They're really skittish fish. And I got a good kill shot on there, you can see how it just drops down. I've heard stories about how aggressive these fish are so I didn't want it biting me while I was diving the rest of the time. so. I pull out my knife and run it through its gills to kill it really quickly. Right after I reload, I see another fish. Got myself a little calico. And the second I shot it, I saw a huge sheep's head about 20 feet deeper. I'm reloading as fast as I can so that I can go over the, to the sheep's head. I didn't even have time to take it off the spear. So I was hunting with this fish on my gun already. Now I've got two fish to deal with, so I got a good sized sheep's head with that. So I would just gone about 20 feet deeper than I wanted to go. Uh, we wanted to keep it in a shallow dive around 40 feet. So now I've got to book it back up to shallower water and I pass Mark as he's cleaning one of his fish. So I scared a white sea bass under these rocks, uh, I'm turning my light on right there. And I get a great shot on him. And no air left at this time, maybe 500 psi. So head to the surface right now. We had such a great dive. We got five fish total, and uh, got to clean them right there on the dock. Hey guys, back in the kitchen right now. Just filleted our fish. I did it really simple. I actually cleaned it straight on the dock, uh, and then. Scalped it down, turned it into little fillets with the skin on it. We're making tacos, so it should keep it really, really simple. A couple of basic things. Throw in some type of salad dressing that you have. I'm using this uh, white balsamic. It's going to add a little good flavor, a little olive oil, a little sea salt, lemon pepper, and you're good to go. Keep it simple. There's a 25 year wait to get a car on Catalina, so everyone drives these golf carts. Okay. And we're doing it straight old school. We got a grill here. We're going to clean it up a little, and we're going to marinate that fish, and we're going to get this barbecue going. Fish is turning real well right now. Poles are raked. I'm just gonna flip them over, get the skin side. And this is the barracuda right now, the long skinny one. The sheep's head. And what was that? Calico. Calico. Also known as kelpass. Sun's gone down, and we've got a bunch of fish, some quesadillas, some tequila, and we're out here on Catalina.